There is no profession more poisoned by abortion than the medical profession, and probably no group of doctors more sullied than obstetricians and gynecologists. That is why pro-life OBGYNs are among the most important voices and witnesses for the unborn child. Now while the medical establishment constantly pressures its members to accept abortion on demand as standard care for untimely pregnancies, the American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians and Gynecologists, or APLOG, is a group of medical professionals that constantly fights back. APLOG is fighting to revive the Hippocratic Oath, which many of you might not even know was shockingly abandoned by medical schools two decades ago. When the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology threatened pro-life doctors with the loss of board certification if they failed to perform abortions, well, APLOG kicked into gear and its members swung into action and their efforts resulted in new rules that protect all doctors from being forced into the practice of abortion. They are constant advocates for defending that second patient, the unborn child. And they constantly, through research and advocacy, they constantly challenge the proposition that abortion is somehow good for women. For their courage in fighting the dominant anti-life ethos in their own profession and advancing the truth about abortion. Truth is a powerful thing. The 2008 Life Prize is awarded to the American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians and Gynecologists. I am I am honored to accept the Life Prize Award on behalf of the American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians and Gynecologists, and we're deeply grateful to the Girard Health Foundation. We hope to use this prize to launch at least four educational projects. The American Association of Pro-Life Obstetricians and Gynecologists is a professional voice of truth about abortion. Truth is powerful. Truth cannot be intimidated into silence. Truth doesn't just go away. And truth motivates you to action. It's truth that it is right to protect innocent human life rather than to destroy it. It is the truth, this truth, that brought many former abortionists to join our organization. It is this truth that causes many of our members to risk their professional careers to speak out. Some of our members publish. Some get involved with crisis pregnancy centers. Some speak publicly. And some of us testify before Congress. We speak and we teach and we take care of patients because that's what's been given us to do. But what have you been given to do? Can you write for a student publication? Do it! and put in some life-affirming truth. Can you arrange for a speaker on campus? Pick one to address a life issue. Do you need a term paper topic? Write about a life issue. And as you gain experience in this cultural war, consider a career in the media, or in medicine, or in law, or education, or writing. And don't forget the most pro-life career of all, that is, raising your family. And when you speak the truth, wherever you've been given opportunity, you will be amazed at what can happen as a result. Thank you very much.